Growing up, I ain't had to find the things, man. I ain't had the shoes, I ain't had the clothes. Most of my shoes and clothes was hand me downs, man. The house we stayed in, man, we had to go without heat, we had to go without lights, man. And I used to feel bad until I picked up my Bible and found out. I got a mention in heaven. I got a mention. I got a mention in heaven. I got a mention in heaven. Whoa, I got a mention in heaven. And my Jerry is got horses like a Porsche. And my Jerry is got horses like a Porsche. Yeah, yeah. I got a mention in heaven. Shalom, shalom, my Israel family and my YouTube family. Yes, I know it has been a minute since I last posted, but here I am. And my little mini-me right here, <laughs> she's going to guide me. Hi. <laughs> so, for all my newbies, please help a sister out. Subscribe, like, share, and hit that notification button. And also, for my family that has been sticking with me, thank you. I love you. So, for this video that I'm posting today is going to be about how to establish and maintain a homeschool program for basically beginners. It's going to have tips, ideas, forms that you're going to need to fill out, and also some material ideas that you can use all to establish your homeschool program for parents, guardians, or whoever you may be that are trying to start a homeschool program and just don't have no sources or anybody to help you in the right direction. This is what this video is for. It's for you. So stay tuned. All right, family. So this form that you are looking at right here, I don't know if you can really see it. It is the form that you're gonna, they're gonna send this packet to you. It's all of the steps to register for a homeschool education program for your kids. So, for what this packet is, is just stating that um, you have to submit a notification, well, a notice, I'm sorry, intent to establish and maintain a homeschool education program. This one is for Pinellas County Schools office i don't know what county or state you're in but it's go by your district in your your county so you're gonna fill that packet out first next thing you're gonna do is um complete all the sections of the note notice of tent and then you're gonna mail it back to the um back to the office of you know the district where your child is going and they're going to mail you back a letter of acceptance. And then on that acceptance letter, it's going to have um, the start date of the program. And that you just keep your doc, you know, keep it with documents that you're going to get uh, from them. And also documents that you're going to have that you got to save for later and not get into that. Okay, so number four here, this red box. I wish I can kind of come in with it so you guys can see it but it says the parent or guardian researches ideas and purchases curriculum and materials to use for the homeschool program so what that means is that as you see here in my background i'm gonna go with you know i'm gonna show you everything piece by piece as i go on but what that means is that you're gonna be the one that's gonna be providing this um material you're going to be the one that's making worksheets finding sources uh purchasing stuff from off amazon purchasing their workbooks that they may need that you're going to be having in your homeschool program all based on what you are doing for your home pro you know homeschool program that still state standards if that makes sense so, and also number five says the parent and guardian prepares the child's portfolio educational log and decides which assessment method will be used for the required yearly evaluation. So just as I just explained, it's all based on what you want your child to learn. So if you want to put Bible study inside of your homeschool program, 
by all means, you, you may do that. They can't tell you you cannot do that. If you want to do science, math, real life activities, like how I have this book right here. This is a real life activity. I prefer to teach my kids things that they're going to learn in the real life, not things that we ain't going to know by the time we get grown and we like, why did we learn A to the B to the Z? You get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, when do we use that stuff? We don't really use that. So I prefer to teach my kids things that they're going to be learning in the long run. And that's going to stick with them for years and years and years to come. You get what I'm saying? And their history. You know, Israel. Okay. So, um, the yearly evaluation, that is, um, let me see how I could put this. That is where the kids are going to have to, at, at each end of the year, when school is out, just like how the regular kids are out in public school, when school is out, you have to submit a portfolio with everything that you have taught your kids for that whole entire year or you know the months for school and you have to submit that portfolio in to get evaluated by their state and see if you're you know their your kids are actually learning from your homeschool program so that's what that means so without further ado I'm going to show you the notice notice of intent to establish a homeschool program form this is based off of Pinellas County, as I told you, so yours would probably be different from mine. But this is the form here. It's called Notice to, I'm sorry, Notice of Intent to Establish a Homeschool Education. So you're going to write the date up there. You're going to write all your information here. And then here in this, you know, in this column here, you're going to write all the children's names that you are intending to take out of school, which is I took all three of my kids out of school. I took Jayshon, Jaquim, and Josiah, all three of them out of school. So then down here at the bottom, it has the date right here that you're going to, I'm sorry, not the date, but the address that you're going to mail this back to, to the office. And then you're going to wait for them to send you an acceptance form, which is I have that here as well. And the acceptance form is going to have the date you enroll, the eva evaluation due date, which is that's the date that you're going to have to send in um, their portfolio by, which is right here. I don't know if you can see that. It says date of enrollment. Then it says evaluation due, which is it, it'll tell you right here. And then I blotted this out because that's my kid's date of birth. So, um, on the letter, it'll also explain, it says, Dear parent or guardian, this, um, this acceptance letter is your official notification that we are in receipt of your intent to establish a homeschool program in Pinellas County for, and then it has your child's name, you should retain this acceptance letter for your records. And then on the letter, it got, you know, everything, what it's trying to explain to you about the reading log, uh, work examples, keeping the portfolio, parent log, things like that. And it also gives you, um, if you fail to um, make a copy and send the portfolio in to the district or whatever, they're going to drop your kid, you know, out of homeschool. You won't no longer be able to homeschool them anymore. And they do give you a certain amount of days. They give you, I think it is two weeks. It might be on my other letter. I have to see. Uh, where is it? Oh, yep. It's this one. This one right here. I don't know if you see that in red, but it says it gives you two weeks two weeks to mail that um, portfolio in. So I'm gonna read this one to you as well. It says, dear parents, this is a reminder that state law 
requires a parent of a home education student to submit an annual evaluation um, regardless of the child's age and including those students who are participating in co-enrollment -enroll options, meaning virtual programs, um, virtual curriculum, stuff like that. And then the acceptable forms of evaluation are Number one is portfolio review conducted by a certified Florida teacher or licensed uh, physician, where it's like uh, they, they are licensed. They have to be licensed to be able to uh, certify the portfolios. It's, um, this one here, it says, it says by a certified Florida teacher or licensed. So, this one, number two, it says certified teacher administrated norm reference test results. Not sure what that means because I, I haven't went through that. I always send it in with the portfolio. That's how I do mine every year for my kids, for them to be able to continue homeschool. And then the third one says F. FSA results if the student is of age to take the FSA and the parent contacts the PSC testing department to schedule a seat at the local zone school during the testing window. So basically that's saying that you can uh, call the school board of your district where your child is zoned for and you can let them know, hey, I want my child to come and be tested, which is the SF, SS, I'm sorry, FSA. I'm trying to speak slowly. FSA. And the FSA is where they go in and they take the exam and based on how many courses they pass or, you know, what their score is, it will let them know, okay, yeah they doing good, the evaluation, they passed it so they can continue to stay in homeschool. So that's what that one is. And then they go on to let you know that transcripts from a virtual program are not acceptable forms of the evaluation. And then it goes on to say, please send the evaluation in, into our office within two weeks. Of the acceptance letter, which is, I blotted mine out, but it goes by the date that I showed you on this paper right here. Um, his acceptance, well, the date, where is it? Oh, there it go. <laughs> <laughs> the evaluation date. You have two weeks from this date right here to be able to send them that evaluation in to the office as it's stated right here it says two weeks okay and if you do not do that within two weeks it says your child will be dropped from the homeschool program for non-compliance and would not be able to re-enter homeschool education for 180 calendar days the student will then need to be re-enrolled in a public or a private school and then it states on here too um where is it oh i don't think it's on this one it's not on this one i think it's on this one okay termination this is for the termination of a homeschool program I was go. I was gonna go on to talk about the three day uh, warning letter. It wasn't on that one, but this is what I was trying to say, which is it looks just like this. You don't want to get one of these. It says termination of homeschool program three day enrollment warning letter. So this letter basically states, um. If you have not sent the annual education, 
um, evaluation required by the state law for your child, you, you have three days from after those two weeks that they give you from your evaluation due date, you have three days to either send that to them or you have three days to enroll them back into a pro uh back into a public or like I stated a, a private school. If you do not do neither one of those things, they will drop your child completely out of homeschool and you you can't go back into it. You can't even you can't do homeschool anymore. They won't allow you to do it. So that's what this um is a termination of homeschool program which is they end up sending this to me a while ago because this was back in 2021. Um, I end up moving and they didn't get the evaluation until a little bit later. So that's why I end up getting this. But this right here, this is squared up away. We all, we are, we are 2023 now. And my kids are still in homeschool program. They're doing everything that they're supposed to do according to state required law because it is state required so that's that with the forms you would need to fill out so now i can give you a little bit of um ideas on what you can do like sites websites you can go on to um this is kind of what i do with my kids everybody will be different with their homeschool program due to the fact you may have different age group than i do i have a a second grader I have a fourth grader and I also have a seventh grader so they all learn at different levels and then sometimes I kind of be with my younger daughter which is uh Josiah I teaches her at the same eight, uh grade level at her brother Jaquin and he's in fourth grade so there's pros and there's uh cons to this thing because the pros is your child can get advanced just by seeing her older brother or her, her older sister, whichever may be the oldest boy, girl. She may see them getting, you know, this lesson done and she may be able to comprehend that lesson too. So she'll be advanced in her mind. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a win to me because my daughter is very smart. My son they're very both of my sons they're very smart and i tell you no lie when he was in public school my son stayed making honor roll so this is when he was in school he was in public school he was making honor roll yes Stay making honor roll me and his dad go visit the cafeteria because my son just was a student and he's still that way he's very smart to me he's actually even smarter being in homeschool because it's stuff that he just clicked just like that he learned it just just like that y'all so hold on all right sorry about that i had to get some stuff straightened out but okay i'm back so this right here this is um my daily workbook planner this book i use to write down jot down um things that the kids gonna be doing for that school day which is um you can see right here on march 27th it says um three page math worksheet spelling words and then for their spelling homework, they had to do three times each with writing their words three times each. And then um, the next day, which is on the 28th, it says three page math packet worksheet. They continue that. And then also spelling homework with word search and go over spelling words together. So I kind of use this to, you know, like I said, jot down things um for the kids or even for me to remember what we're going to be doing for that day and i also write it down on the board as well so tomorrow april 3rd they have new spelling words of the week 
independent work packets, which is they're going to do Monday portion of it. And then for their homework, spelling word search. And that's how I kind of get them to, you know, remember their words and stuff. And their words come from, um, it's a book I brought from off of Amazon. It's called Cool Spelling Words. And this one right here is for my son's grade, which is my seventh grader. It has um, the pre-spelling test is already in it for me to do the spelling test with him and then grade it, stuff like that. I got that from Amazon. This is my second grader. This is his um, spelling book as well. And my daughter, Josiah. Oh, that was Josiah's. I'm sorry. I don't showed you guys the wrong one. Second grade. <laughs> That's Josiah book. Second grade. And this is my son's, Jaquim's, fourth grade. This is his book. So it has his words and stuff in there as well. Let me see if I can kind of show you guys. It has sight words, words he should know already. Um, It also has word scrambles like unscrambling words and it also has the pre-spelling test for him where he can take his test and then i grade it and he get his score so these are the words this week i end up printing them off I always keep a sheet for myself and then the kids have their own sheets so stuff like this you can do spelling words of the week for your kids and I have each one of theirs going in a row. So this is Josiah words. This is Jaquim words. And this is Jayshon's words. And those words come from the book like I showed you. And as for homework, I go through, uh, I can't think of the website right now, but I'm actually paying $24.95 for it. And it's called Teacher Something. I can't think of the name of it. Oh my goodness, I wish I would remember it. But um, this is it. It is very helpful because it do um it generate uh worksheets for you. I actually like that site so much because I don't have to, you know, go out my way to try to figure out oh how I'm gonna get this worksheet, how I'm gonna do that. I just go on there and I generate the worksheets from off of that site and this is how they get their homework so this will be their homework for tomorrow so they have the spelling words for homework also i just showed you the um spelling word unscramble and down to the bottom is uh having them to write definitions for their words stuff like that as homework and then I'm not sure if you can see it because it's kind of blurry a little bit. But this is another worksheet that I just printed out. It's called Spelling Words, Correct Spelling. So what they're going to do is they're going to look at their words and they're going to circle the correct spelling. And then at the bottom it says write seven sentences um, for, for their words. They're going to write the sentences for each one of the spelling words and then they're going to underline the, the um, spelling word in the sentence. So that's for homework for the rest of the week. And then their packet that I was just saying I do for them is called Independent Work Packet. And this is for my daughter, second grade. And down at the bottom, it says Monday's assignments and it's showing them what they have for Monday's assignments, which is like I said, half of this stuff come from book workbooks that I purchased from off of Amazon or um, uh, what is it? I think it's a Sam's Club. I go on there. They had a curriculum books. Everything is a uh, state standard. But she's um, right now working on how to uh, identify coins and things like that. Money, working with her with money. Um, her shapes and stuff, evens and odds. How to, you know, what's even, what's odd. She's actually doing pretty good with that. 
uh, what this worksheet come from. This come from the uh, spec Spectrum Math Book, which is right here. That's what this comes from. It comes from out of this math book right here. And I'm going to show you guys something. You see this little circle right here? It says current state standards. Make sure when you purchase workbooks for your kids, it's state standards. Because like I said, you still require to send an evaluation in for your kids. You know, and it's state standard. And you don't want to be getting something that not even uh required by the state and you just teaching them this stuff and is no use for it because the state don't even uh accept it or you know allow it so also um this is still their packet it says independent on um, packet work packet and this is Tuesday's assignment and it tell them everything they need to do for Tuesday and I'm going to get to Wednesday. Wednesday, I try to make sure that that's, you know, the day that they do um, their Bible study or they'll do a Bible um, worksheet, which is, as you see right here, this is, says the um, man's um, of the New Testament. So this is all the names for the men's that's in the New Testament. It's keeping their brain you know, going on the word. I want them to definitely keep the word in them because that is something me and my husband is big on with my kids knowing, you know, we want them to know their history, know who we are. So that's something we do on Wednesdays, whether, like I said, I'm doing something with word search for the, for the um, Bible or either we doing a Bible study read along. And you can go back into one of my videos and you'll see me doing a Bible study read along actually with my daughter where we enter the Bible um, and we got it open and we going and reading along and then she answering the question. So that's what I mean by Bible study read along. Okay. Also, I have this called Market Math. I got this off of Amazon as well. Like I said, I want my kids to know real life stuff so that's right here real life this is stuff that they're gonna be using this is what they're gonna be using when they get older and stuff that we need to be knowing as adults so in this it has like a um location of locating prices on the grocery list so when it says that it's the whole menu in here right here they give you this little menu that go with it and this is the prices of you know the grocery list and then they have to go back into the book and based on that list there they will write down the prices on how much everything you know what the list shows on here so that's for that then we have drive through menu math yes my kids love this I love it too. You hear back that testifying. <laughs> she come up, mm -hmm. But it tells them about a menu, which is, let me see, right here. They include these menus with it, real life stuff, for them to be able to learn how to, you know, read a menu, calculate how much money they're going to spend, how much money they're going to get back. That's what this right here is for. So, and they have different ones. Um, they got the on-the-go burger that I just showed you. They have this one here, which is um, about the tacos. And then right on the back of this, this one is talking about um, sandwiches and, and salads. So, yes, this is a really, really good book to purchase from off of Amazon. I really love it. Like I said, my kids love it. I make several menus so they can have on their own. Okay, this right here, this is where I get my Bible read uh, uh, word searches for my kids. 
I make copies of it and then I place it together and that's how I come up with their Bible study word searches. I also got this book right here um, as well. It's a crossword puzzle for kids about the Bible as well. Science. My son, he loves science, so I kept science in my homeschool program for my kids. This is my daughter, um, second grade science, where, let me see, first page, maybe I can show you guys, first page, it has things like this. I don't know if you can see it. I'm sorry, I'm trying so hard. It talks about flowers, labeling flowers, things like that. Um, I believe they had cycles of life with the animals. Yeah, cycles of life. You know, a bunch of different things, you know, that's interesting to kids. And labeling the ants because they love she loved ants, so that's a good one for her to learn about the ants. And my son, this is his science book. And again, as you see, current state standards. So he can actually use this book. This book is actually current. Um, it talks about uh feeding your body right, um, a body of water uh dancing for food a the parents of correct uh was that i don't know what that one is no we ain't doing that one but anyways the end of dinosaurs it talks about that some of this stuff i just i don't even I, I let them choose which ones that they're interested in, in in science, which ones they want to do, because we not big fans of the science. But like I said, my oldest son, Jay Sean, he loves science. So that's the only reason why I kept science into our um, homeschool program. But this one talks about the human um, hobbits. Yep, and then it has the little questions over here for them to answer about it. And searching for our ancestors. <laughs> yeah, we 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 learned that in the in the word. So okay, that's enough of that. Then on to math. Yes, math. And again, my oldest son, he loves math. This is some of the um, curriculum they have inside of it. This is my second grader's book. I'm just flipping through pages so you guys can see how this look. This actually come off of Amazon as well. This is why I ordered it. And they have different books. They have math, they have word problems, they have reading, language arts, they, they have it all. Math, everything, spelling with these books and their state standard. So Amazon is the way. Amazon is very good with this stuff. And also you can find these at Sam's Club as well, like I stated. And this is my second, I mean my uh, fourth grader, Jaquim's book. This is the problems that's in his for his math. I was trying not to make this video long, but it's so much stuff to cover. Oh my goodness. My seventh grader. This is his. Just showing you some of the things that they're learning in the book. Yep. So they still learning at, you know, um, regular school pace and stuff, but a little bit more advanced. All right, so back to what I was telling you with these life skills, this real life stuff that they're going to be using. Yes, this is check books, check books to show my kids how to write checks. This is what's inside. 
it shows them exactly how to write from the dollars to the cents they have the little example checkbooks over here so they can see how to write a check on their own we are actually about to get into that because i want my kids to know because they see me writing checks all the time or i'm depositing stuff like that yeah so this is stuff that they can use so that's that and then this grooming believe it or not some of these kids do not know about high jeans high jeans they be musky they got stuff going on that they should have been learning on what they need to do with keeping themselves nice and clean and groomed because i'm gonna tell you something the most high is he like cleanness cleanness okay <laughs> And I like cleanness too. I'm a neat freak. So yeah. And my kids know it. But this is some of the things they have in there. For them to read about. Answer questions. They have little um, crossword puzzles. Things like that inside of this book. They have a couple of different things. I think I'm flipping too quick in the book. Mm -hmm. Talks about nail care, everything. Yeah. And it also has the little answer sheet at the end. And understanding instructions in a kitchen. Hey, some of these, some people don't know how to cook. They got ingredients. And my kids know, if you know me, anybody who know me, they know I gets down in that kitchen. I do not play. Mm -hmm. You hear my baby back there testifying. I gets down. <laughs> yes. But it tells them how to, um, like, ingredients, how to, you know, look at measurements and things like that. That's what this book is about. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then last but not least with this book, this is Labor, Labels and Packages. So, yeah, and again, real life activities. We got to learn how to read labels. And my kids know what I mean by read labels because when we go to Publix, I hand my son stuff and I say, what name are you looking for that we are not supposed to have? Gelatin. I said, exactly. So that's important for them to know how to read these labels on these packages. So stuff like this, as you see, questions form the answer. Yes, I, I don't play. I got to teach my kids because if I don't, who else will? They got to know the truth. Yes. But this is a nice book. Questions for them to answer. And again, they have different books that you can order from off of Amazon as well. With newspaper, filling out forms. That's another book I want to get them. The one where it's filling out forms so they know how to fill out certain forms as well. But yes. So, I have showed you guys everything that... I use for my kids for my homeschool um, program and this is what I have been doing ever since I took my school I mean ever since I took my kids out of school uh, my first child I took him out of school way back in 2018 I believe I took him out so he's been out of homeschool for quite some time my second son he got out in 20. 20 or 2019 i want to say and that's the same time my baby girl got out of school too and they've been homeschooled ever since i tell you is it's 
it's not that easy, but at the same time, it can be easy. If you put your mind to it, it can be very easy for you to be able to homeschool your kids. I can't tell y'all how much I love having that one-on-one -on -one time with my kids. Every time I turned around, I got phone calls from teachers saying my kid wasn't focusing. He all over the room. He did that when I get none of that at home. My son, he's calm. We get that one-on-one -on -one time. Um... And I get one-on-one -on -one time with each one of them where they're learning more because they get in my uninvited attention to each one of them. And I'm able to show them what needs to be done. And then, like I said, this is like real life stuff that I'm teaching them. And plus, they learning the word at the same time, something that they was not learning in school that really matters the most. And my Israel family, you know what I mean? We have to get back to our roots. We have to get back to learning how to do these things. I know some of you may be single moms and don't have the sources or don't have that support to be able to homeschool your kids. But I'm telling you, as a single mom, you still can do this as well. You still can do this. There's plenty of uh, books that can help you. The books that I just showed you, there's plenty of workbooks that you can do for each grade level all the way up to, I think, grade 12. So it's like, you can do it. <laughs> I mean, I go on sites. I, I'm researching all the time, different websites, different curriculums that I can use to, you know, keep everything going and keep my kids' mind to where they're constantly learning. They're learning good things and they're learning the right things. And they love it. They don't want to go back to school. I don't care to make my, my kids go back to school. No, no, no. My husband love it. We, we be having our little things where I'll be playing sometimes where I'm the teacher and he's the uh, principal. And they be talking about, ooh, my daddy flirting with the teacher or, yeah. you know, little stuff like that. So it, it's, I love it. I, I love it. I wouldn't change it for nothing. So for anybody that's thinking about homeschooling their kids, hey, do it. Do it. Don't hesitate. Don't feel scared. You need to rewind this video and pause some stuff, write some stuff down. Do it. Take note. I'm telling you, there is nothing stopping you but you. You can do it, okay? I motivate you, sister. I got you. Brother, I got you. Do it. <laughs> it's nothing like it. My husband love the fact that I, you know, homeschool my kids. And I love it, too, and they love it. So with that family, I just want to say thank you. It's been a blessing sharing this information with you. It doesn't cost me anything to share it with you. I don't want anything. I thank the most high up above for even giving me the knowledge to be able to share it with my family, my brothers and sisters out there. And I just want to say be encouraged. You can do it. I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Share this video. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. Support a sister and I love you. Shalom. Yeah, I like best life. If you didn't know, you better get right.